Hey, what's up guys? It's Randy Rector and welcome back to another video. And if you guys record music or YouTube videos, you may have been wondering, should I get an audio interface to record my audio or a field recorder? Today we're gonna cover the differences between the two to see which one works best for you. Okay, so first, an audio interface is really the most basic recording system that you have. It's really designed for music recording and it has to be connected to a computer. And a field recorder, on the other hand, like this one, which is actually what you're listening to right now, is designed to be a bit more mobile. So you can power it by batteries, you can power it by USB, there is a spot for an SD card so you can record directly to this device. So you don't have to be tethered to a computer. What makes this a bit more interesting is that this can actually also double as an interface. And to make matters a little bit more confusing, there are devices like this, not this one specifically, but this one's bigger brother that has internal recording, battery powered, works as an interface, and it has microphones attached to the top of it. So this really checks all of those boxes. So these are the best then, right? Not exactly, and I'll get into some of the differences between these devices. Oh. Oh. I was just reading something really interesting. I was reading this article about Michael Jackson. Yeah. And apparently his pronouns were, hey, hey. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, that's great. All right, let's start off with audio interfaces. So an audio interface is really the hub of your recording studio. This one here is about $125. This one here is about $600. And essentially what you're doing is you're plugging your instruments or microphones in sends a signal via USB to your computer, your computer sends that signal back, and then it outputs to your speakers. You'll typically have inputs for your microphones and your instruments. In this case, these are called combo jacks, so they actually input both of them, and this has those combo jacks as well. And then as far as inputs go, you'll see anything from two, four, six, eight, 16, 32, depending on how much you fork out for your interface. Interfaces also have another job, which is to provide phantom power to your microphone. You'll see the 48 volt button here. Field recorders will have this as well, but this is one of the jobs of an interface, so I thought it's important to mention. More often than not, these are bus powered, which means they run off the USB power itself. Sometimes you'll actually have to plug in an additional wall power into one of these, but majority of them will be bus powered, which means you can essentially take them anywhere. So you take your laptop, open it up, plug this in, and you're good to go. Field recorders, on the other hand, are designed to be mobile. So with your internal storage, you can basically take them anywhere. Additionally, they're battery powered. You can power them by uh, AA, or um, you can get a battery sled, even you know uh, V-mount batteries, anything like that but then you can also power them by USB power banks in some cases. Some of them won't have enough uh, power from that, but generally speaking, it's a much more uh, portable option. Because you don't have to bring a laptop with this guy, it makes it really convenient for things like sound effects recording or if you're filming dialogue on set or working on weddings or something like that, you can actually mount your camera to the top of this, put this on the tripod with your camera, and then your audio is just taken care of. You don't have to worry about someone closing your laptop or something like that. It's just, it's just a much more robust, uh, outdoorsy kind of recording unit. And then depending on how much you spend, they also have other features for filmmakers. So things like time code, take markers, uh, pre-record, safety recordings, built-in limiters, just other things that pro sound guys would expect to have on set. And then as far as handheld recorders go, this one here is a Zoom H1. It's like $100, it's super cheap. They definitely lack features when you compare them to the field recorder. Like they're not really designed for pro film or anything like that. But if you're doing like YouTube videos or vlog type stuff, or even for weddings and that kind of thing, they'll work really well. You can still mount them to your camera. Um, they're, you can put them in your pocket. They're super convenient. So for convenience, the handheld recorders definitely win. For pro film features, the field recorder would definitely win. And then of course, with the more expensive versions of these, you can also use them as an interface. So you can connect some microphones, plug it into your computer and use it just like an interface. Okay, so what we've discovered is that all of these can actually work as an interface. And so it's really important to understand the key differences. So one thing to point out is that field recorders don't have really a dedicated speaker volume. There's no way to adjust a speaker volume on this. There is an output here, uh, auxiliary, oh, it's on this side, an auxiliary stereo out. So technically you could wire that up to a set of speakers. In order to adjust that level, you have to go menu diving and this would be really inconvenient if you're trying to use this for a studio. If you're using an interface, you know, you just, turn down the volume. The next thing is that field recorders don't default to being used as an interface. So when you plug it into your computer, you actually have to go into the menu and then change it from USB power to USB interface, and then it's gonna reboot the system and then come back up. It's just, it's a bit convoluted. If you plug in an interface into your computer, it's just gonna turn on and it's just gonna become your uh, audio driver right away. The next big win for an interface is that they're designed with ergonomics in mind. So this you put on your desk, all of your buttons here are accessible. 
Cables go at the back, down you know, the back of your desk. Field recorders, on the other hand, are designed to be used in a bag. The cables come out the sides, and the volume knob is here on the side. There's power on the back. Um, if you have this sitting on a desk, those knobs are gonna be extremely hard to reach. So it's, it's just a little bit less convenient than a nicely designed interface. Actually, what kind of goes against that point is that this has the same sort of ergonomics, where if you put this on a desk, it's actually really hard to reach these knobs. So this obviously isn't as nice as the other one. Additionally, interfaces tend to have other features for musicians. So things like MIDI input and output, so you can control multiple devices. That's pretty key and that's something that you definitely would not find on a field recorder. And the last thing that makes interfaces pretty unique when you compare them to field recorders is that they have a wet dry mix knob, which basically lets you monitor your sound going into this box and coming right back to your headphones versus the sound that goes into this box to the computer, back to this box and then to your headphones. So that signal is gonna have a little bit more delay. So you have the option to do what's called low latency monitoring, which is basically just a feed going directly through and out the headphone amp. If I were to shoot out these three devices back to back with the exact same microphone, the exact same setup, you might not even notice a difference, um, especially after it's compressed and then sent to YouTube and then YouTube downgrades that video. At the cheapest level, if you're comparing like $100 interface for a $100 field recorder, the main difference will just be that the field recorder is uh, a bit more mobile. As you start to work up in those price points, the difference between them becomes much greater. So this becomes much more of like a Hollywood film uh, tools. They have all the stuff to sync up with cameras and that kind of thing. And as you start to go up in price with audio interfaces, they start to have additional features for studio integration and they may have a better set of converters that just get a better quality signal into your computer. So that's really the music production route versus the film route. If you're looking to get started with a good interface, I would definitely recommend this one here. It's the uh, AudioBox 96 by PreSonus. What's awesome is that this records up to 96K and it's only like $100, which is a pretty sweet option. The other one is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, which is basically Focusrite's version of this. It's, again, great option. Uh, or the Audient Evo 4, which I actually did a review on my channel. Uh, if you guys wanna see that video, I will link it up here. And if you're looking for a portable field recorder, I would definitely recommend this. This is the Sound Devices Mix Pre 6 second edition, uh, which means it has some additional features built into here. There's the smaller version of this, which is the Mix, uh, Mix Pre 3. And then there's also some options from Zoom, so you could get the handheld recorders. The F5 and F6 are pretty awesome and pretty comparable to this. And there's also the Zoom H6, which is definitely much more comparable to this. Also has 32-bit recording. The reason I chose this though is because it has built-in limiters, but that's a whole other discussion. Definitely some good options there. Anything from like $300 to around 500, it's gonna be pretty good. Okay, to wrap this up, I think if you guys are just gonna be recording on your desk, doing music production, that kind of thing, a interface is probably the best bet for you. Unless you're really concerned with being mobile, you wanna get out and you know go record sounds in a in the woods or something like that, or you're doing a lot of weddings, I would definitely recommend an interface over a field recorder, just because the field recorder is a bit difficult to uh, interface with your computer. So these are built just to turn on immediately and work, and a field recorder is gonna take a couple of extra steps. So just in the interest of making your life a bit easier, an interface is probably the best bet. And that's it for this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. If you guys have any questions, I will be responding down in the comments, and please feel free to subscribe. Coming up on a thousand subscribers now, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and if you guys wanna be in the first thousand subs, go ahead and click that button. I'm gonna be posting a lot more content just like this. We'll see you guys next time.